need to add this to review screen real fast. Oops. Uh, copy. There it is. Okay, we did it. What? Oh. Wait, what? What happened to my other thumbnail? What? Dude, what's happening right now? Everything just... Man, OBS just kicked out all my stuff. What in the what, man? Why is this happening to me, chat? Why is this happening? <laughs> what is this world coming to? Hold on, let me see if this works now. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, what's up? Uh, I don't know how to integrate Mailchimp with Contact Form Seven. Lost description thing for my site to make you be crazy, bro. But if anyone can do it, it's got to be you. Cause if not you, then who? You feel what I'm saying? You appreciate that, Lurk Haven. Oh, oh, oh! oh. I gotta put it down here. Let's put it right here. Hello. wants to work for me right now then how the frick I was having I don't know why I'm having problems with uh having problems with this right now it's actually kind of annoying this is my life chat this is it this is this is the life what's up shiner how goes the uh goes to life. Man, I need to get some of this hair. Okay, so I guess it's just not working right now. I'm not going to keep trying. Bump that. That's so weird. I have it right here. Like, I, I don't understand. I, I was able to do it here. Why can't I do it Oh, here it is. I got it. Ah, finally. Dude, that was crazy. Here we go. I was trying to put this extra scene on top of another scene. I just did it. I don't know why it was acting like this. It goes. I feel. I feel. It's going. Is it going fast? Is it going slow? All right, chat. Let's do this thing. I want to look at this couple of videos real quick. Then we can finally jump into some Sekiro today. Sekiro. And then we're gonna play some Kakarot later on this afternoon because I am not gonna be, hopefully we beat him today, I don't have to worry about it, but if we don't end up beating him, I'm not gonna stay on Sekiro all day like last time because it's just gonna make me upset and I don't wanna be upset. Today's freaking Friday, right? We didn't jump on stream to be upset. We jumped on stream to be happy. You feel me? All right, all right, let's play this video. Premiere Pro version of the most popular transitions for today. Just right, let's see, let's see, let's see. So this is the new costume for Joker. Right? The Brotherhood of Shadow is not interested. Wait, who's this? Trust me, you could use some comic relief. You are beneath us, Joker. Whoa, wait, what who was that? Oh, this is just the intro. With Batman who laughs skin. That's that was the skin though, right? He sounded different for some reason. Holy moly, look at that skin. That is a nice looking skin. Wow. 
Okay, well, <laughs> well, that was it. That's the video. <laughs> Holy moly. Who is not interested? That's nice, dude. This game looks amazing. Good gracious. How do you walk in? Go and play. Yo, this skin looks amazing. The Brotherhood of Shadow is not interested. Wait, is that Joker? Trust me, you could use some comic relief. You are beneath us, Joker. That's Batman? Oh, I didn't know that was Batman. I thought that was a Joker, but it was in the Batman Who Laughs skin. Oh, that's dope. I don't remember I don't remember that being Batman. Wait, why is that Batman skin? Hmm, that's strange. Okay, well, that's all I want to look at that. <laughs> Dude, that was a nice skin, though. That's a super nice looking skin. Oh, it's a noob Cybot skin. For reals? I wish they told me in the comments, like, whose skin it is. Oh, it's a, big, it's a different universe skin, but they put it on noob Cybot. Oh, yeah, here it is. Man, noob should lead the Brotherhood of Shadow. That's just, I've, I've never seen that, Batman. I have not seen that one before. All right, so we gotta check that out later. I gotta watch that movie. Okay, so I wanted to look at this game right here real fast, and then we're gonna look at some food video. Team, and then we can get started in Sekiro. It's a platform to manage any team and any project. Marketing campaigns, class. <laughs> Two Dark Days, which released in 2010, was this, absolute. This was Kane and Lynch. I've never, I've never played Kane and Lynch before. I've heard good things about him, but I've never played it. Be disgusting, ugly, and way too chaotic. But it's the first time I'd say this is what makes this one game so unique. It is an extremely raw and brutal crime shooter that redefined the way we view third-person shooters in general. What's really Dude, we gotta put this on a list of games game to play. Is that everything we see here, the dirtiness, the dark tone, the annoying shaky camera, and the ugly aesthetic is all deliberate and created by the developers. Yeah, I don't like the camera. Which are IO Interactive, also creators of Hitman. These gameplay elements were introduced to Kane and Lynch 2 to differentiate itself from the many violent games that kept releasing. It shows killing as disgusting and makes you feel a little bit weird after ending someone's life. The fact you can also kill anyone you see with no remorse adds even more to the. You can kill anybody? Jesus Christ. Can you shoot them? Oh! Whoa! Oh, what? It's not often we can see two naked men covered in the worst cars ever do a massive rampage in the middle of a city. Holy moly! Make sure. Get out of here. Dude, there are. Wow. Bro, this game looks serious. Did they bring the online back? There's an online mode of this game? Dude, that's dope. I wouldn't say Ken and Lynch 2 is really good. In fact, it goes from good to average. But the fact it tried so many different things is something to appreciate. Many games render their worlds as if viewed through a lens, depicting a camera view with plenty of lens flare, motion blurring and such. But this game actually put this deliberately to make it super ugly. The contrast is horrific, the neon signs are way too colorful, and the world is way too dark. 
Mm. We also have the annoying gameplay and some glitches that makes it looks like the game runs on a really bad connection or a badly edited YouTube video. <laughs> I wonder why they did it like that though. Wow. We I gotta play this game. Oof. Oof. Watch out. Is, is, is this on a PS2 or is this a PS3? Hey, good morning, Rage. The fact that they blur it out after they get popped in a certain spot. And finally, the shaky camera to resemble films like Flower Field where a cameraman follows us. The game story though is never meant to give us some kind of message or moral at the end of the day. It's just all about gang wars and extremely violent shootouts to the city of Shanghai in China. Jesus Christ! Can you shoot your teammates? This is Kane, Kane and Lynch. I've never... The game will even pixelate part of people's bodies where it's just too gory, which is a perfect addition to this weird game. I've, I've heard of this game, but I've never seen gameplay from it. This is my first time seeing it. This is, okay. this is gritty. Street, we gotta act cool. Dang, that's, this is dope. Man, I want to play this game. This is part two, I think. You can shoot anybody. That makes it dangerous for me because I'm always like, hey, can you shoot this person? And I end up shooting him. So, yeah, we should probably, like, I was right on my alley. Bro, that spread on the gun is disgusting. Yeah, I think this is the second one. Oh, it's a new one coming out. Oh, never mind. Maybe it is a new one. I don't know. I'll look in the comments after this. Oh, ho, ho. dope. That's dope. When Kanan Lynch 2 released at the time, it was of course filled with complaints for being too violent and realistic. The one thing it did right though is it wasn't trying to glorify violence but rather make it disgusting. Oof. Wow. I like the way the gun sounds. Thanks to I Am Legend for being a master member on the channel. Wow. You can become a survivor wow. member for that was 99 serious, cents man. only. It'll that was serious. Well, which one was this one? I'm, just, I'm assuming it was... Can yeah, it was Kanan Lynch 2. Uh, Dog Days. Kanan Lynch 2. So you're saying there's a new one coming out? <laughs> what if Trevor from GTA 5 had a Max Payne? Low budget spinoff. That's facts. I can see that. Graphics look good. The graphics look pretty decent. The graphics look really good. I didn't know they was making a new one. Dude, I haven't even. This is my first time seeing Kane and Lynch. All right, let's get at this one. All right, so I got one more video I really wanted to watch, Chad, and it's about cooking. So <laughs> this looks and delicious, Thomas, man. Asked, I would totally do this. For any occasion, a beer that makes a weekend feel more like an adventure. And the George, no, no, that's not the new one. He's getting excited. Nah. I don't know if there's a new one or not. All right, these are the pit boys. Gonna smoke me a fat and brisket. 
brisket. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're grilling up some bacon and egg pan pie at the pit. And it's real easy to do. All right, we've got a few pounds of bacon here. A few and pounds. we'll uh, grill them up because we're going to need them for the recipe. I want right? some bacon. It might take an hour, bacon. hour and a two at about 250, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Oh, they the lost the rights. Bacon has been smoked. That's terrible. And now let's uh, show you what you need for this recipe. You're going to need some cheese. You're going to need some potato chips. Chips. A couple dozen eggs. Like I said, a few pounds of bacon. Some onion. We have some maple syrup. Mm. All right. Let's put this together. Now, like I said, we pre-cook the bacon. Not crispy. You want it soft, just like that, and pliable. It's about cooked three quarters mm. of the way through, maybe a little bit more. Mm. And what you do is you take a few strips. I love bacon. And you roll them up, just like that. I want to do this, Chad. Now, if you've never had bacon and egg pan pie before, you definitely got to check it out. It's a great breakfast, or it's a great full meal anytime you want. Great. <laughs> bacon pan overload. pie? Bacon and egg. It's good. All it's right, let's good. show you again how you do it. Just take your bacon and roll it. Maybe a few strips. You can get creative and figure out how to do it, right? My jaws are tingling, man. Now, I haven't had bacon in a long pork time. Pork belly bacon, and uh, you've got to use pork belly bacon. All right? You know about that, right? Well, I know about that pork belly bacon. Oh, I know about it. Add another piece, and we're gonna place them in a black iron pan. This is about a 12-inch black iron pan. I gotta, get, I gotta get a black iron pan. Oh man, looks like a bed of roses, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Now, we have in here approximately two and a half pounds of bacon, more what? or less. All right? And this is what it looks like when you get it in the pan. Now, here we're adding a little uh, veggie oil for the Vegematics. And this is, uh, we're doing this. That's a lot so of oil. The eggs will not stick to this black iron pan. That's now, this recipe oil. calls for some onion, like I said. So, you're going to chop it up. <laughs> Maybe a good size onion. That's some onions, now brother. We're break the eggs into the pan. You want to go sunny side up, right? Oh, man. I don't know about that. And you're going to need a lot of eggs. I would probably scramble them first and then pour them in there. I'm not a big fan of sunny side up eggs. Like I said, you're going to need a dozen and a half eggs. Oh. Maybe two dozen. Depends how big your eggs are, right? We got him sunny side up. Sunny side up, brother. It's good. Now, next step, we're going to add a diced onion right to the top. Nice layer. Is it no go? Yeah, I'm not a big fan and of sunny side we'll up eggs. Crack some black peppercorn. I'd rather scramble them and then pour them in there. Ooh, that would be delish. Delish. It's good enough to eat already. And then we're going to place them on the grill opposite the hot coals. We're indirect heating. This oh. gives us a slow heat. And we're running a temperature of about 275 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You get that cholesterol we're up, brother. We're about halfway through. And we're just going to spin the pan for some even cooking. You may not have to do that on your grill. Huh? Oh, man, look at that. Eggs are setting up nice. Ah, the sunny side now, up is hurting me though. For the eggs to cook, I'm not really into the. We've sunny got some potato up. chips here. And this is this starch to this. Uh, Yo, what's up, sorry. Pot, right? We're learning how to cook. And you want to Just use a good chip. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, this is gonna be good. <laughs> you now we got some potato chips. <laughs> My mouth is watering, dude. Now here we've got some shredded cheese, and we're gonna add it to the chips. And use uh, use your favorite shredded cheese. Give it a good mix. Is that Parmesan? It looks like Parmesan. And the eggs are just about done. They're still runny. And here we're gonna add our cheese and chip blend. <laughs> Why the chips? It's fairly thick. This is going to add a bit of crispiness. Oh, that's right. You want the crunch. Egg pan pie. 
I get it. Never mind. I want the crunch. Why not use a crust instead? Oh, use and a crust the underneath of time, this. This bacon and egg pan pie is done. We're gonna put it off the grill and uh, let it cool down. Doctors ever are fainting. I would totally eat this if it wasn't sunny side up. Actually, actually, it doesn't look that bad though. I can't really see the sunny side up part, so I'll totally try it. I say it's time to eat. It's time to eat, brother. I feel sorry for that pan. He's just cutting now on the pan. These up any way you want. Gosh. You Terrible. Slice it. You could probably serve eight people with this. But uh, maybe four is just enough. <laughs> serve about eight, but I think four. Dude, this looks delicious! Oh, the eggs did cook, though. The eggs did cook. Like I said. This is a grand breakfast. All the protein you need to get oh. into a hard day, right? Oh. Oh, my jaws are tingling. Oh, man. Take a look at that. Shepherd's pie. Nice crisp. Reminds rare. me of shepherd's pie. Bacon is cooked perfect. There's some hot sauce on you, happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm dude, eating this, this with a beer, like, syrup if you want. they crazy. Your, uh, favorite condiment for your eggs? Oh my gosh. My mouth is, like, going crazy right now. Like, saliva is just pouring out of my mouth right now. Yeah, I, I don't really care for the sunny side up. It's, it, with them doing sunny side up and then cooking it, it's like hard boiled eggs inside. Which is not bad. Not bad. But I would rather have it, uh, scramble. Get, get, like, a quiche going. Ooh, I love quiche. Got a crunchy layer, going into some soft eggs, some bacon. So you got salt, you got, you got sweet. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this. Shame. But, uh, we call this pitmaster privilege. You're just gonna have to make your own bacon and egg pan pie. Boy, that that looks good, Chad. I don't care what nobody says. This looks freaking delicious. Oh, dude, this looks so good. This looks so freaking good. I showed this to my bike. It's now a Harley Davidson. <laughs> That's good cooking, brother. Violently American, and I love it. For real. Oh, man, that just made me hungry. I'm, I'm sad now, but also happy I saw it. I'm going to make that, chat. And then I'm going to take a picture and put it on Discord. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. I saw some... I got a notification about a Godfall video that I really want to check out. And then we're going to get started with free, some Sekiro. I keep forgetting to put it on just chatting until we switch right. over to the actual Every game. Free is free. Oh, well, free. it's too late now. Free, free, free. Too late. New Godfall gameplay appeared on Reddit from user Yakwater Dong-ing. That shows the awesome PS5 exclusive in action. It's a short bit of footage, but it's very interesting to look at. So I wanted to quickly go over it in this video. A like would be super appreciated, and let's go. Godfall is, of course, that upcoming PlayStation 5 and PC exclusive that will not launch <laughs> on current-gen <laughs> systems. So that basically means that they can focus it's on, not on Xbox? The PS5 to make it look as cool as possible. The trailer Aww. they showed during the Game Awards was all in engine, and we also saw a Aww. small bit of low quality gameplay but now we got a way better look at some gameplay footage good to note is that this footage is from a year ago according to yeah quarter dong in meaning that it will likely look even better when we see it again i think that will happen during the playstation 5 reveal event that would be my bet but yeah, right now, I'm already pretty impressed, and it looks like a ton of fun to play. It so does. the idea of this game is that you wear different armor sets called Valor Plates oh. that then change the gameplay up, and you also have different weapon types that, of course, also have different combos. They kind of compare it to Monster Hunter. And in mm. the small bit of footage, we see the three starter Valor Plates in action. So you can choose one at the beginning, likely after the reveal trailer. So the reveal trailer is actually an early cutscene 
that you will see in the game. So you choose one of these armor sets, but can after that actually farm the other two as well. That's but there cool. should be way more of these feather plates in the main game. And I like how varied the environments look. We already learned that the world is split up into realms. We got earth, water, air, fire, and spirit. Dope. And I think we see the first shot of the air realm here with this character in the world in the clouds. But then we go to the sort of forge area that we actually get a better look at Godfall. in this small piece of combat. And this character seems to be in a pretty cool looking castle, ready to get attacked by some armored knights. And overall, the enemies seem pretty varied as well and are likely dependent on the realm you are exploring. Like, I think we get these fire-breathing creatures in the fire realm, you would think, right? A few enemies stand out, like this molten knight guy that <laughs> might actually be a boss. We see co-op gameplay in Action Year 2. It's a three-player drop-in and drop-out co-op game with one character now attacking the boss while the other one is waiting for the right moment to strike. I personally really love this sort of Nia guy in, again, I think this is the air realm, Ooh. doing a cool taunt with his small knife. That and it dope. seems like you can lock onto a target as well because of the red circle we see on this enemy. And we can also see where enemies are coming from thanks to the arrows around our dope. character. Nice. I'm not sure if you can like turn it on and off. I like that. Because we don't see it in every encounter. And overall, I really love how there seem to be some smaller enemies, but the focus is on more stronger, large, skilled enemies. So kind of more Souls-like. Yeah, I was to say, I'm getting Souls vibes. Slash game. While they do call it a looter slasher because of the focus on upgrading your character. And there are some skills that you can do that do some awesome slashes. Like we got a fire charge with a sword, a double slash attack. But Ooh, it's really man. just mostly waiting for the right time to strike. Let the enemy do his animations and then you can go in. And you mean I you really tell me you have to be patient? Rush. We see that, of course, in the other footage well, too. Well, there goes the game for me. Guy with the hammer. And after this new footage, I get even more Infinity Blade vibes from this. Maybe you remember that mobile game from Epic with pretty good graphics for an iPod game at the time. And it also had a massive focus on large weapons and mm. big bosses. And Lords of the Fallen also comes to mind. I'm not sure if you remember mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, early mm -hmm. PS4 and Xbox One game. I remember that. Also very dark. Dark Souls inspired and I totally get why people would say Warframe as well because yeah. again Godfall also has co-op and there's just a big focus on the different armor sets that grant you different powers. I will leave a link by the way to the reddit post so you can easily I think it's a mix of a lot of good games. I can't wait to see more. I'm, I'm getting intrigued. Souls, I'm getting God of War a little bit with the camera angle. For sure. Gearbox is publishing it and overall I'm just curious like how big is this game like how much content can we expect and will it be fun like after five or ten hours and not be repetitive because games like this can get repetitive pretty fast so that will be interesting to see first footage looks pretty cool to Oof. me let me know what you think of course in the comments down below when we know more about godfall then i will totally let you know here on the channel so totally subscribe nice. for everything on the game yeah i'm getting like some videos. um Sort of the I'm getting really good vibes from this. And yes, this is a PS5 exclusive. <laughs> of course. They have to have something to make you really want to get the PS5. And I think this is one of those games. This, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, Spider-Man 2. Like, oof. Oh, man. I haven't played Horizon. I've seen it. It looks really incredible. Um, and I played Spider-Man. We did the 24-hour stream on Spider-Man. And I love that game. The storyline is just so, so crispy. So crispy. But yeah, this is a PS5 exclusive, of course. I'm getting a lot of good vibes in this game, though. I get God of the new God of War vibe. I get Souls vibe. Like you said, Warframe. I love that you can farm for new armor. That really, really makes me happy because then it's not like so easy. You don't have to just progress through the level to get it. You have to actually do something for it, have some fun, slay some enemies. I like that it's multiplayer as well. That's really good. I do hate this man's voice every time right <laughs> wow, that's a bit much. Yep, God of War means Warframe. Yes, yes, yes. That I totally agree with that. I love reading comments sometimes on YouTube. It just gets ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts, facts. That's how they go. Yeah, that's how they're gonna get us. That's exactly how they're gonna get us. That's. I mean, it's smart business wise. It's smart, you know. That's what you want to do. But consumer wise. God dang it, I hate you. All right, we're done with that. Okay, chat, that was it. That's all I want to look at. We got some more videos, but I'll look at these videos later. We're like, it's 
<laughs> We're already 30 minutes into the stream and we haven't even started playing the game yet. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 